now. So I already have uploaded my picture. As you can see, it's a JPEG photo. So I select the picture, then click on Start Task, Get Recipe, Shade Guide AI. So now we are in the Shade Guide AI page. In this page, in order to generate recipe, we have to fill out some inputs because we have to know what you are trying to achieve. Do you want to do layering? Do you want to do staining? Okay, so let's look at it step by step. So on this page, on the left side, you have your gallery, so you can add more pictures if you want. Uh, on the right side are the inputs, right? And then on the left side here in the left corner are the di is the digital color meter, which represent luminosity, chroma, and hue. We'll discuss this a little bit later. Okay, so we have our case here, our photo that we received from the dentist or took ourselves. We have to start on the right side and, and give the software all the required information. Uh, first one is recipe type, uh, meaning do you, do you want a single or triple recipe basically? Single zone means middle, triple zone means cervical, middle incisal. To keep it simple, let's use single for now, single zone. Restoration method, do we want to use staining techniques or layering techniques? So staining recipe or layering recipe. Staining recipe can be applied for monolithic crowns and layering speaks for itself. Target shade, so we are using two shade guides at the moment, Vita Classic and Vita 3D Master. And you are selecting the shade guide, which is used during shade taking. Then we will try to find the color of the natural tooth based on the value and chroma uh, of the shade tabs that are used. So first we want to find the shade tab with the closest value, okay? So from these two shade tabs, which is the closest value? Okay, we can look at it visually and find the value. Okay, if you have experience and you are confident what the value is, you can just go here and select. But we can also use the digital color meter on the left corner and find the closest luminosity or lightness. Luminosity is basically the lightness of the color, right? So uh, we are representing it as a value, but it's actually uh, numerically it's the, it's the luminosity. So on the, in the left corner, you see L, right, L. And the L number of the shade tab should be very close to the L number of the natural tooth. So the L of the A1 is 71, right? And the L of the tooth is 71. So the A1 shade tab is actually very close with the value. So we select A1. Now we go to chromine hue, so the color the color intensity, uh, the color tone, right? The, so the chroma is the saturation of the color and the hue is the color tone, color type, right? Is it more yellowish, more reddish, more greenish, more brownish, right? But for to keep it simple, focus mostly on the chroma because that's the total saturation of a color and that will bring you very close to the natural tooth color. Again, you can select the shade guide color um, with the closest chroma, right? Which from these two shade tabs compared with the natural tooth has the closest chroma? I think it's A1, right? But we can all look at it numerically. To find the closest chroma, you look at the C value, right? C, here on the corner, C. So we are on, when you scroll on the tooth, you can see the C value, the chroma value of, the, of your shade tab. It's 9, 9, and 10. Here, it's also 9 and 10. So, it's very close to an A1. Okay? So now, it, it, it happens so that the shade tab is very close to the natural tooth. It will not always be like that. So, but you have to understand that we are using shade guides to identify colors of natural tooth. You are still limited because you are using shade guides, okay? It's, it's a great way to improve your workflow, but if you really want to 
have the perfect shade, you want, you want to go fully digital. But to start, to start uh, with Shade Guide AI, it's a great, uh, great way because you work precisely. Okay, let's go next. What are the other inputs that are required? Stump shade. Stump shade is the material that we will use to replicate the, 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 dye, the dye color, right? The preparation color. We have two materials here, EPS natural dye and Matisse color model resin. Preparation color, this is optional. Framework. Framework is an input that you have to uh, tell the software what material you will use for the zirconia or lithium disilicate. So if the color is A1, right? I want to start brighter. So I would, I would want to go a little bit brighter. So I will use, for example, LTB0 or I will use uh, Prime uh, Zirconia BL2 or I if I use Katana, I will use HTML and white or YML and white. Uh, framework thickness, right? So we are basing the recipe based on the given input. So if you tell the software that you use YML natural white, we will give you a recipe based on this framework. Staining brand, ceramic brand, so you can use different options, and available space for layering, and we click on generate recipe. So this is our recipe page. So here we have the, the, the picture of the, the case. On the right side, we have all the inputs. And this is the recipe detail. Uh, stump shade recipe is to re reproduce the, fabricate the, uh, the diamond, the, the stump, right, on the model. Wash bake recipe, this is to paint your, to stain your framework, to, to give it a wash bake. So it's cream, sunset one to one and two. Uh, we have special portioners which, which you can use. You can look at it on the, on the, in our website, in the web shop. Staining target, one and one. A dentin recipe. So this is the dentin mix. So we have to use power dentin BL1 one time and power dentin A4 one time. So use a simple portioner. Uh, you can use a portion of my line. Just mix it one to one. And then the enamel recipe. And enamel is power in size L2. So it's uh, this with this uh, recipe, you control the, the luminosity, which is the value, and you control the chroma. You can save the recipe as PDF. OK, this is the layering recipe. So let me now quickly show you the staining recipe. So let me show you the staining part. So we select staining. Value A1, chroma A1, stump shade color model resin, preparation we can skip. Uh, with, when using monolithic crowns, always start one or two shades brighter. Okay, the, the thickness of the crown and the staining brand. Let's use Mio, for example, and we generate the recipe. So, stump shade recipe is this mix and staining is this mix. So I have to mix mamalon pumpkin one time and four time linen. For uh, paste stains, we developed a silicone portioner that you can uh, mix the given ratios in the portioner. And um, that is it, this tutorial. Uh, I want to give you some tips. So ShadeGuide AI, you can use uh, three ways. Uh, first way is you can use your interpretation to find the, the shade guide and take a photo with your camera, uh, with your digital camera. Uh, when you're using digital camera, use the dental photography settings. Uh, and the dental photography settings are um, shutter speed 1 to 125, aperture, so the F that is 22, and the ISO is uh, one, 100 to 200. And um, yeah, you can shoot uh, JPEG photos. Control your flashlight. You know, with, uh, with ShadeGet AI, you can use ETTL, that's fine. Um, then you can use your mobile phone to make photos of shade guides. Uh, but then I would advise you to use uh, standard lighting. So I would advise you to use MDP2, for example. And the third one is 
You can also use OptiShade to identify the shade guide color. So you can take a picture with OptiShade and then look in the OptiShade app, what is the closest match, which is uh, advised. Uh, for example, it can be like uh, Vita 3D Master 2M2. And then you take this Vita 2M2 and you put it um, in the mouth and make a photo. And then uh, continue again in the software and generate the recipe. So ShadeGuide AI is a very straightforward protocol, less steps involved. Uh, you take the recipes and you fabricate the crown. That's it. Uh, I hope you liked it. If you have questions, please let us know. You can always email us, info at matisse.ai. Uh, in the software, we have a chat box here on the corner. You can click on it and chat with us. If you have any suggestions or feedback, let us know. Also, if you want this to share this with your friends, or if you have great results, share it on social media. That would be very helpful. You can tag us, uh, hashtag Matisse, Matisse Shade Matching. And yeah, thank you as always for your support and looking forward for your reactions.